You smell so good, I don't wanna even film. <laughs> Please, <laughs> get a life. <laughs> Did that kind of make you feel like brave for a second though? I get teased, if anything. Cool. I know it's not true. Why is it not focusing? You're a tease. I know. It's what I do best. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm just gonna move. Did I break it? No. Oh my god, that was so close. Probably fixed it, if anything. God dang. You know what's funny is that- We almost just broke our camera, you, guys. You drop it, and it would have been like, oh my gosh, that sucks so much. I'd have dropped it. Oh, I would have been, been so mad at you. to me for- I know. A month. It's not so hard. I can't believe you dropped it. You're so clumsy. So You're a horrible husband. I know. You don't even cook You're dinner. You're so lucky that I you dropped it. You don't even it. know how to vacuum. You just said like <laughs> horrible things that make no sense. <laughs> That's true. You you drop it and break it. Have been like, oh, life's tough. <laughs> Sometimes you make mistakes. It's just well, not fair. our camera's fine. We're good. Anyway, so today we're going to be doing our bachelor recap. Now, this week there was two episodes. I'm not sure why they did that, but there was one on Monday night, and then there was one on Wednesday night. But of course, we have Hulu, so we watch it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And today is Friday morning. So we're going to be doing our recap for both of them. We just figured it would be better to just tie it all into one video versus doing two separate ones this week. Also, there is no This Is Us this week. What's going on there? I don't know why they do this. This is good that we've kept notes actually because I don't even remember what happened the first episode. I don't, I don't remember at all. So episode five, he pulls Alea aside. I think that was to dump her, wasn't it? I don't remember. Oh yeah, it says Alea. This is gonna be a train wreck. This is gonna be such a mess. So he pulls her aside, next note. Um, Alea is going back home again. <laughs> I said wishy-washy. Right? Oh, she was classy about it. Alea? I thought she was going to be a mess about it, but she was actually handled it very well and she was very nice to him. Yeah, Remember? She, was, she was nice about she, I mean, it. I thought that that could have gone a lot worse and I feel like she did handle it quite quite well. So I gave her points for that. Um, so then after that, everybody was kind of dogging on him, telling him how frustrated they oh, yeah. were with him. They were and like, like, how dare you bring, bring her back, back and, and then oh, give yeah. her a rose. I mean, he was hearing about then, it from everybody. And he's just like, he's like, dude, I'm not perfect. What the Well, and he's like, I'm dating all of you, but at the same time, like, I'm, I'm, I do what I want to do. Like, yeah. back off. Like, Also, we found out that Peter is a Leo. Most unlikely Leo I've ever met in my life. He does not seem like a Leo at all. I don't, I don't believe I don't that. see it. I don't see it. I don't think his birthday was supposed to be mm -hmm. that. Um, okay, so now he trusts Victoria again. Victoria? Victoria Paul. P, okay. Yeah. Um, and then Tammy was talking about a fire. No clue. This has been such a long time now, I cannot remember. We have terrible memory. Oh, this is crap. So anyway, she um, talked about a fire and fires are hot. <laughs> So then um, I just put Savannah. <laughs> this is great. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. It's okay, just, should... it's kind of fun, just keep reading it. Okay. Something will jog our memory. Then Deandra and other girls went <laughs> home. Totally. Okay. Right, right. So Deandra went home. Oh, so, oh I see. De Deandra, Savannah, and then the other girl, who I don't know whose name was, went home. Oh yeah, I remember you said I don't even know her name. And Deandra's face when she got not called. Yeah. She was like, she thought for sure she was getting it picked. I felt stressed out for her after that. I was like, that's so awkward. Like, she for she for sure thought she was going to get her name called. I can tell I smell good. Why? You're really looking at me like you love me. Oh, God. Get over yourself. Okay, now... Um, okay, so now they're saying, you know, we're super excited. We're going to be going international to Costa Rica. And mm -hmm. that's when you see the true excitement. Not the Ohio fakeness. But don't... Don't mess up my curls. I'm letting them dry naturally. They're beautiful. Thank you. Um, okay, so then they go to Costa Rica. All of the girls' arms are bruised so bad, and all I could from think the about fight? no, from the football oh, thing. Oh yeah, the football. All I could thing. think about was how unfortunate this is. These girls are trying to look all sexy and beautiful, and they're covered in these They've massive got, like, bruises. Massive. I just feel like that was so wrong of the bachelor to do that because they just they look like they got beat up. They don't look cute at all. It's so <laughs> annoying. Okay, so then. Oh, the, he, his face. He cut his face on the golf cart. Oh, that, that was the first episode. You guys, Jay rewinded this part where they showed the actual footage times. of him getting in, bonking his head, and then going, Dang. dink. <laughs> what are the odds? Dang. He's like so clumsy. I couldn't effects. believe he did that. That was the best. We that loved was that. amazing. Like, I mean, not for him, but like, what are the odds of getting into a golf cart and then, but 
what I was saying was, can you imagine if it was any lower and it got in his eye? If that glass broke in his eye, he got really lucky. That's tr That kind of crap is like final destination stuff. That stresses me out. Yeah. So I was really stressed out for that bit. Then he's telling his dad jokes in the helicopter with Sydney, and I feel like Sydney was kind of not into the dad jokes. Yeah. I just don't feel like she gets his sense of humor because he's kind of awkward. I don't think she does. Yeah. yeah no. So then, I don't even remember the joke, but I don't think she was really into it. Yeah. So then he says that Sydney is the best kisser. Hmm. That's a, he's kissed a lot of peeps. You know, how does that make the person who he ends up with feel? That's a really big statement to make. Because then when he picks Madison, because we all know he's going to marry her, she's going to think she sucks at kissing. But Sydney has great lips. So how could you deny that? <sighs> I don't know why he would say that. I know. That's just... I mean, it's good for her, but for... What if he doesn't pick her? I mean, obviously he doesn't. He's dating so many girls. To say something like that, to, to single out somebody... I wouldn't do that you know, if I was him. Bad, um, bad, bad idea. Then they're like smooching, and he bonks... She bonks him right in the head. <laughs> I felt so bad for him. <laughs> Poor fellow with his dilly dang little hair, hair head cut. Um, then they were like smooching like crazy... They added undies on her. That's so ridiculous. Oh yeah, the the fake like the fake, in the in the video so they obvious. put pretend undies to cover her butt. Well, why do you do that? We watch Love Island, and I'm telling you guys, now that we've been watching Love Island, Bachelor is lame compared to yeah, Love I, Island. We, I, I'm kind of over. It's almost Bachelor like a chore watching Bachelor Island because, because Love Island is so good. Love Island is. If you haven't watched Love Island UK, we're on season five. We're watching season five. Tommy's my boyfriend. Uh, yeah, not to not to skew off here, it's but amazing. like amazing. Love Island, they they they, it's not for children, and it's not like they to do show anything. Booty. But they don't they don't put in fake. No. They don't draw in fake underwear it's to amazing. cover. I mean, their butts are showing, and it's not not no nudity, but no. they cuss. They, it's they, great. It's they, the it's best It's just show. no holds barred. It's, it's so good. We're so addicted. Yeah, like if you like, watch Love Island, well, the UK one, I don't know if it's American or... You, there's an Australian one too, I think. Uh, or it's got Chia Seed. But, uh, uh, yeah, we mm -hmm. like that show. Mm -hmm. So, like, Bachelor is like... To me, Bachelor, ha after watching Love Island, is turned into a soap opera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And love, it seems so fake. Yeah, and Love Island is so realistic. They have good yeah. music. Yeah, just, we have a dance. Yeah, it's so good. Um, anyway, we're back anyway. to The Bachelor. So then we go on to Kelsey is being very emotional. And I feel like, you know, some people just don't do well with alcohol. Like some people get really happy. Some people get angry. I feel like Kelsey just gets really emotional. And I have actually known people in my past that that happens to where like, it's almost like they're allergic to alcohol or like intolerant because they just melt down. And I feel like every time Kelsey has a bit too much, she just becomes an emotional mess. Bad. And maybe she should just stay away from it. Um, so then they have the photo shoot date and it's the Cosmopolitan March issue. Where they add more fake undies on these girls. Yeah, they did do that a lot, didn't they? Terrible. Um, so Hannah Ann, is thinking about followers. That's what I put. I don't know if that was discussed by someone else or if I decided that. I think uh, I said that she was, that was weird, that she was thinking about new followers because she's like, oh, I'm a model. This is going to be great for me. She wants oh, to get yeah, up, you know. Maybe. I, just, I don't trust her. I just don't. I still don't trust her. Okay, so, oh yeah, so then they're like, ki they're like, oh, act natural. And they're like kissing him while the other two are like just standing there while this person's taking a photo of them. It just felt so awkward, didn't it? I don't know why they had three girls. Why didn't they just do individual shots with each of them? It was very strange. There's nothing natural about it's that. It's so odd. I mean, hey, one, hey buddy, you're, you're, are... you're dating three girls at, at, at the same time. Kiss one of them. I don't know why they do There's the stupid challenges that they do. That. It's like so irritating. Uh, um, okay, so then Victoria F won the photo shoot and we know there's like good chemistry between those two and she has amazing body and hair. I feel like her hair won her for that uh -huh. one. The hair was like so perfect for that shoot. Um, I put that they're natural together and then I said Kelsey's not doing well. No. Then Kelsey says that she's falling in love and he just kisses her. I feel like that's so awkward when you like verbal diarrhea your feelings and then they just kiss you they say nothing back like i know he can't say i love you but like oh that sucks. he doesn't say anything back he could say like something i just hate that oh, wow. um 
Then Tammy, this is where the Tammy drama happens, tells Peter about Kelsey. And what I thought was very wrong of her was that she brought up the drinking problem. And I think that would, would have been a better way to say it if she was truly concerned about Kelsey. I think she could have said it in a better way. But basically, kind of calling her an alcoholic was like mm -hmm. a little out of order, I feel like, because that really is not fair for someone else if they don't know for a fact that that person is to say and accuse someone of being an alcoholic because that's like a serious thing to accuse someone of. If maybe, I think there's a difference between her not being able to handle alcohol, which I think is the case, versus calling someone an alcoholic. Well, Tammy was a bit on a, on a rampage to, to like, kill everyone in her way but, after that yeah but but the thing is like who, who, who is she to say is she di is she diagnosing kelsey is Kel is she a doctor yeah. is she a psychiatrist or a psychologist and also, or if whatever you're concerned about that person like, take it to them take it to them say, girl or, i think that you're drinking well, too much or something that's like i mean going out i mean i just don't get it but like you're you, one person drinks a little bit too much one time and then all of a sudden you're gonna go and tell the person they're dating that they shouldn't date him because they're an alcoholic yeah it makes no sense it was just i don't know why she did that and i feel like because she's sabotaging well everyone. i know so then peter confronts her and then he says i heard you had a mental breakdown and i'm like what would you do that for peter oh, man, you I silly know. silly moron he's like so stupid with his words sometimes he just He's like verbal diarrhea. I mean, I say that I, I say stupid stuff too, but he's like really bad he's though. terrible. I mean, why would he say mental breakdown? He could have gone about it another way. So that was stupid of him. He, that's a silly boy. It's traumatizing. That's so wrong to say. I, uh, so then she it's says, horrible. Um, so okay, so it all got misconstrued, I think, because what's her name said that she was having a mental breakdown or something and then peter says mental breakdown to kelsey and then kelsey comes back unstable. and tells everyone that she, that peter said she was emotionally unstable from tammy and tammy never said emotionally unstable no. that was never said so i think no. everything just got kind of mixed up in there and i think words were said that weren't actually said so i think that's why it caused so much trouble is that she never actually said mental or emotionally unstable no. She just said she was having a meltdown. Just, yeah, basically. There's a difference between having a meltdown, like, you know. And emotionally unstable. Yeah, you have, like, one specific moment where you're like, I am just, I've had it, I'm having a breakdown right now, versus consistently emotionally unstable. That's, like, an actual situation that happens on a recurring basis. So, the words were not used properly. They didn't <sighs> use their words properly. And again, I don't get, I mean why tammy even bothered mind your own business she really should honestly so then uh we decided that kelly because he had his one-on-one -on -one with kelly and you can just tell that kelly is not into him whatsoever i don't think so i don't think she's into him the, the she, slightest bit she's always just got kind of mope face she's yeah and kind of... she doesn't i just feel like she's just not into him like you can just tell that she doesn't get excited by no, him she never like and, and when she jumps on him and like wraps her legs around it's, him it's, uh, it's 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 forced. forced i feel like she thinks she's too smart for him yeah and honestly she probably is probably but she feels like she's too good for even the show yeah i think so like so, she's made to go on the show to right. promote the law firm she works with yeah the family. It, just like, it just seems forced. very doesn't seem genuine and no. people i feel are very in tune yeah with that. i think you can really tell um he sees that she's not putting her effort in so he is thankfully aware but he gives her a rose anyway right because he's a sucker dude i mean the so guy he's just so easily manipulated by people he, and it irritates me he has no bad he, he could come up to you and be like i heard that you did these horrible things and you'd be like no i didn't he'd be like okay, okay have a you. rose i love you I'm like Dude. yelling at the TV, like, what are you doing? You just said that you don't see it with her and that you, you don't think she's, you know, into it. And then he gives her a rose anyway. I'm like, well, you're, what, I don't know. Peter. Peter. Um, okay, so then Tammy and Kelsey have a chat. That's all I put. Don't know what happened there because I can't Tammy, remember. Tammy and, Tammy and Kelsey? Oh, yeah, I remember they, they sat were, on the couch. They were... And they were bickering. Uh, bickering about the alcoholic the thing. The alcohol thing, yeah. Oh, and popping pills or something. I yeah. don't know. So then Peter talks to Kelly. He's pissed. She's not ready. I don't think he wants to give her the rose. She's not truly listening. These are all my notes. And then I put, she's fake. She's just fake. Yeah. It's, she's just pretending. She is. And she never answers any questions. No. She, she never deflects. tells him anything. Yeah. Everything is too thought through and. Yeah. 
So then Kelsey gets a rose on her convo with Peter. So she goes over to his room Oof. to kind of like clear the air of the whole alcoholic thing. He gives her a rose. Um, and then she goes back to the girls and you can tell it's like super tense. And then McKenna gives her little speech. <laughs> She's such a good speaker though. McKenna. I have only seen one tear and that was when she finally got eliminated. She just turns it on so quick. It's so fake. I can't deal with fake. it. It's like, no, it's not. if you're put, why you're, you're wiping nothing. There's no tear She's there. She's not wiping nothing. It just drives me insane. <laughs> it's not. Um, so then there's no cocktail party. McKenna starts it's crying always, it's always again. Been, oh, and this, she does her hands all awkwardly. This. I just can't. I'm so sorry, but I just can't deal with these dramatic girls. They're so immature. Man, she just puts it on like, Boom, she's crying. It's just too much. Oh, I can't take it. Um, so then Tammy and Sydney get in a fight. No, they didn't. About I think because Tammy was <laughs> Tammy was attacking like everyone at this point, wasn't she? She was attacking uh, I don't know, I can't even remember. Oh, I'm not really crying squidgy, it's okay. Girls are sticking up for Kelsey about the pills. So that was nice when all of the girls yeah. were like, um, I don't know what you're talking about, the pills. I thought that was really nice that they, they like came and for they were her. Like, they were sticking up for Kelsey and they're like you were making that up or they're, yeah, they're like that was nice that was i'm glad problem. that they did that um and then mckenna breathes that's what i put is when she she didn't breathe <sighs> she like she's just too dramatic no, tammy pulls him aside right as he's about to call the roses and then mckenna's like "Ooh, good idea i'll do that too and i was so shocked that he sent lexi home because i thought they were really vibing why did he send her home that was such a confusing situation was that me. was that when they they had their own like cocktail, cocktail party, party while everyone's standing there waiting for their roses lexi was so annoyed yeah she was and She's then like, you know what i'm glad i'm out of here probably yeah, she probably was so then lexi and Shean go home and then Shean tells peter to watch out for the girls that is the end of episode five part one now we move on to part two and this we just watched last night so it's fresh super fresh so now they're in santiago chile he gets his stitches removed but what i want to know is who the crap is bandaging up his face because that is the most awkward looking bandage i've ever seen why can't you just stick mm -hmm. a little dink on it little dink it's so weird isn't it his, his, his bandage is not good um then sydney's face during tammy's speech Oh, so Tammy gave a little speech at the when they were all at that table, didn't she? Yeah. And then Sydney, like you could tell Sydney was just like, oh my gosh. Then McKenna starts fake crying again at the table. Still no tears. We're yet to see one tear yet, guys. Then Victoria she, she, she must practice the crying. She must. It's she just too puts much. A, she puts a, and I'm not making trying to make fun, but like It's fake though. It's fake. It's not like, real. It's not real. Kelsey cries. Kelsey cries. But like, when I'm there's not, tears a, and boogers, it's crying. I'm totally cool with the crying. Cry it's all okay you want. It's okay if you cry. Cry, cry girl. Don't pretend to cry. Don't, don't, about don't everything. like fake cry though. And and she fake cries like, like there's a date card. Oh, there's a date card. Like she cries it's literally about the wind blowing. It's just and it's too this, much. It's, it's so, it just, it's almost like, she, here's what I feel like. It's almost like she watched a bunch of episodes of, of The Bachelor and learned that if you cry, you'll get more screen you time get further which along. she has totally and it's working like a charm yeah but like I, I don't think they should grease that squeaky wheel though like it's too much on. it's too much nobody wants to see that crap i can't take it so then victoria f calls her a sad wet dog <laughs> <laughs> and like i think it's even getting to the girls at this point where they're like why is she pretend crying all the that, time that's when you know that we're not just Picking we're up not on crazy it. yeah like they they called her that yes They're like this girl yeah so then hannah ann gets the date another awkward date where they had to do the awkward little dancing where everyone watches them i just don't understand why anybody would enjoy this well and i don't even enjoy it watching the show it's not fun i'm not interested anyone. in in seeing them dance in the middle of a crowd in the middle of a it's I not i want to get their connection to me that's like uh, Bachelor's been around for a long time. To me, that's ten-year-old Bachelor. Yes. Like that's ten years ago. It might have yes. been interesting, but you know what? Things have changed, and it's like step it up. Step it up. Do something different, or like I don't, I don't know. I, I it's it's very boring to me watching them dance. Yeah, and then cut back on all of the kissing scenes too. Like it's oh gosh, I yeah. just don't want. I'm, yeah, I want to see connections, and yeah, it's we're in the age of social media. Socialize on the show. 
Have them do tic tac challenge, tic tac, tic tac challenges. Yeah, TikTok, if anything, like, like dance stuff. Get like in do, with the, the do funny times. stuff or do do like interesting like face changing. Th I don't know. Do something different, but dancing in the middle of people. That's so unrealistic because that would never happen. And it's so. I just wish it was more realistic of like real life dates. Well. You Nobody see the, would stand in the middle of a crowd and no, chill. No, and you see this huge crowd of these people performing, and then they're just in the middle of it. Nobody, it's just nobody so else. Is, I know. You know. I can't deal with it. Rant of the day. Let me so cry then, a bit. <clears throat> so so annoying. They're eating the hot dog, and I got so mad at Peter when he did this. Oh, he gosh. shoves the mustard and ketchup and mayonnaise or whatever the heck it was. Mayonnaise, mustard, and ketchup. All of I think that thing face. was loaded, and it was just like it was. It went up her nose. It was everywhere, and the whole time I'm thinking. He's just wrecked her makeup and now she's gonna stink like mustard all day long. So then she does it back to him and I felt like I was on a high school date. Like, this part makes I just sick. was like disgusted with the fact, how disrespectful for, for a man to do that to a woman when you've just spent probably an hour putting your makeup on. And, I mean, maybe she doesn't take as long as me, but that's a lot of work to do and then you're just gonna wreck it with mayonnaise and mustard and ketchup? I mean, maybe if like, She's having the hot dog and you gesture up. Oh. Yeah. And but she's don't like, don't you do dare. It. Maybe that would be okay. But to just. <sighs> and then, then, uh, this is disgusting. This is like they some kiss. weird, weird pornographic thing that he must watch. Some kind where of they, weird fetish. They do, yeah, some weird fetish where they like Ew. are kissing with, with mayonnaise. The mustard. And mustard and I couldn't even watch oh, it. Gag. It's so disgusting. Because we've all, most of us have had ketchup, mayonnaise, or mustard on our face or smelt it on our f it stinks and it smells and after a while it smells imagine feel. being in a humid hot place oh like gosh, that walking no. around Ew. oh it gives me the you'd shivers. have to you'd have to properly shower to get that cleared off your yeah, face how did they wash their face and how did her makeup look great after and imagine that? you've got all that and i've got oh, all this no. and i'm just like i'd be like oh off of kiss me with my mayonnaise mustard face no no thanks um okay so Barf. yeah that was gross good for her for like Honestly, if someone would do that, I would have whacked him in the face. Yes, yeah, I would. really would have. I, I like my natural tendency would just be like, get off of me! Like, don't you freaking dare! I cannot deal with that. Mess. I can't believe that. Oh, I was super. I was just so disgusted yeah. by that. I was. That was Peter. Peter. He lost points. So then Hannah Ann, we find out, has never been in love, and the whole date for me felt like it was a high school date. It was so immature. It was so young she did not feel old enough to be on the date he seemed very young when he was with her it just didn't seem like an ad i was like are we watching bachelor teeny boppers like don't mm -hmm. you think yeah. the whole thing was just very young it, it was almost like their parents dropped them off at the mall yes like they when were, we see little teeny yeah. boppers at and they're the like mall. walking around and they're standing in front of like h&m yeah. and laughing and it it's just felt like, very young i mean um, to each their own but this is this is to find your, your spouse, wife. your wife, your yeah. husband, and like, there's I don't know. And that's the thing is like I feel like because we've been married for a while now, it's a serious thing, marriage. And sometimes I feel like they just make it seem less serious on the show. And these girls are so young, and I'm like, how you haven't even experienced life? Like, how are you even ready for this? You're super young. You're super hot, babe. Like. And, and there's nothing wrong with not being ready. No, it's totally fine. It, it, these girls are like, no, no, I'm ready. Girl, if you aren't ready, you haven't even been. Go. Yeah. Just it, go. Go uh, have fun. Go, yeah. go, go be single. When we got married, I was actually only 24, which looking back, I, at the time, I didn't feel young. But I remember people saying, oh, you're so young. Why are you guys getting married so young? Because uh, you found the best man in the world. Well, that's true. Once you find them, you got to snag them <laughs> up. But I look back now and I try to think if my daughter was that age wanting to get married, I would probably tell her, don't rush marriage yet. Live. Live, you know? Because, I mean, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. And here we are 100 years later, though. Yeah. I mean, it. luckily it worked out for us. But... I was very young and I remember people saying, you are so young, thank you. I have like a hair trying to get in my eyeball. And I didn't think I was young at the time, but looking back, I was young. Oh, for sure. You know, I was very young. You are a cradle what sitter. What is it called? I wasn't, like I was old. Baby, you were five years older than me. You were almost 30. I'm still five years older than you. Almost 30. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm amazing. <laughs>
the thing is you were and, actually 20 22 in your mind and you yeah i still am and okay. you were lucky to find me you were lucky to find me actually. and we've been married for a long time so clearly it worked whatever we did well i feel like when you know you do know that's the thing but i don't understand why these girls are actively trying so darn hard to find a husband when they're like 21 years old well and why they're also here's the other thing why they're trying to force it like when i pulled into the mall and looked in my rearview mirror and wished it was her behind me looking at me in my that's truck sweet. i knew at that moment i was going to marry her these girls, I feel like, are going on dates. They're, they're trying kissing, to force it. They're, they're traveling yeah. the world. You, when and you they're know, like, you know. no, I want to marry you. And deep down, they're they like, don't. And it's like, you, you, can tell. you either know or you don't. Like, and you can tell when people have a connection and you can tell when people are forcing it. And I feel like when you know, you know it's your person. You don't have to wonder or question. You no. just know. There's just something know. in you that's like, I just can't go on without this person. But... I feel like there's a lot of being, after, a lot of forcing. After years and years and years and more years and, and kids. more years and kids and stress and yeah. bills and you're not traveling to it's you know, life is at. not that fun after a long time. There's just regular old waking mm. up at super early, getting your kids, listening to dirty the toilets. Yeah, it's just like it's not that glamorous. <laughs> yeah, be quiet. But for I mean, I think for us, we're very lucky because we're besties. So we have a very, very strong friendship. So we can just laugh it off and be like, freaking life. Seriously. But, you know, you Why have- force it though? Yeah, you don't need to force it. If it's not there, it's not there. It's not gonna get better, I don't feel like. You're not magically maybe one that, day. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we're watching the show and we're looking at these people, these girls and Peter even, and we're like, if you're, if you think it's gonna get better when you get married, yeah, you're crazy. It should be like amazing now. Totally, it it gets harder the longer you're together. Yeah. I feel like because then there's regular life stresses, and you're not in that honeymoon phase where like, oh, their farts are cute. Eventually, you get sick of their farts, totally. and you get sick of their socks, and there's things you get sick of, mm -hmm. and then you really have to love them. To put and then up the with farts become creative, where you're just on the couch, you're like, ah, oh, that was a good one. Yeah, like <laughs> so. I feel like if you have to work that hard in the beginning is not gonna get easier as especially the time after goes that, by. that hello fresh bowl we had last night <laughs> golly gross this is what i'm talking oh, about it's this is not glamorous it's horrible okay so then i do like say every, that i loved every her dress five minutes i think okay i don't even want to talk about you <laughs> so then then i said i love her dress totally. you're gross you're actually making that was a cute dress think about okay i'll make you feel better mayonnaise kiss don't even yeah. so then um i put i feel like their combo is a high school combo <laughs> and he doesn't believe that she's ready and i put the he, i don't think he was buying it so you know what he should do what give her a rose that's what he does <laughs> so he excuses himself he goes outside he's like i don't you know i don't think she's ready uh, i'm like not getting mostly. anything she's never been in love and then <laughs> she pulls out then she goes after him, and I don't like when this happens. Mm. When someone says, please let me excuse myself, that means they need a moment without yeah. you. Otherwise, they would stay there with you at the table. I don't like when like when they are like, Can you, I just need a moment, and then they go follow. Leave them alone. Let them have well, their moment. It just shows her maturity level. Exactly. Um, so then she goes out there, pulls out the tears, and then pulls out the I'm falling in love with you card. What is he going to look like if he doesn't give her a rose when she's just professed her love for him? That doesn't even exist. I don't think she's falling in love with him at I, all. No. I don't think she even knows. I, well, she's never been in love, how would she know? There's a difference between love, I think she said that she loved people, which, you, I mean, you can love lots Dude, of I people. Dude, I fell in love with you the second I hugged you. That's because I'm amazing. Like, there, but, there was no, like, I, I think I'm, no. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I know. Nonsense, Ugh. nonsense. So, then I put fake. So I've put fake twice now in I my notes. my stomach's getting leaner. Maybe my diet's working. You're literally like such a nincompoop. Okay, so then I put he's such a sucker. He is just so easily manipulated, and this is probably why he's single because he doesn't he doesn't have a backbone, and it makes me so mad. Then we move on to McKenna, fake crying again. I can't even deal with she her. She wasn't though. Victoria F gets another date, so then everyone's like, why the heck does she get another one-on-one? -on -one? Right. Which really wasn't fair. 
I mean, it really wasn't. I don't think it was at all. So then McKenna says that she wants to leave and she's like, I didn't get a date. Like I'm packing my bags, all dramatic as her usual. Then they go onto a set of a soap opera. And this was actually quite fun. I did actually quite like this challenge. This is the kind of challenges they should do. Yeah, this was good. Dates. I think it was really fun. Yeah, this was cool. Um, McKenna gets the maid, which gave us a good chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. What a, what a creep. Kelly was actually a really yeah. good actress. She played the grandma, the abuela, very well. I thought she, she did, did the part. Great. Yeah, she it's, was really good. Probably because she's like in her head so much. She can like. Yeah, I, don't know. I feel like she did actually play that really she good. Did. She really sold that, yeah. So then we see McKenna just creeping on them. The rest of them are typical. just dressed up doing their normal thing. And then yeah. McKenna was just a creepy little man. Yeah. Um, then I said that <laughs> the so couch, funny. I just put that couch, that big golden pink throne with the velvet. Yeah. So that was really nice. Um, then I said, I wish they would eat. There's always all this food and you never see anyone eating and it makes me so irritated. And then I'm thinking, well, that's probably why they're all so darn skinny and maybe, <laughs> maybe, just maybe, that's why they don't eat. Yeah. But anyway, then we move on to Sydney's cat eye. It was really good on this date. It was, yeah. her makeup looked really good. Yeah. Kelsey's skin is perfect. Yeah. It really, she does have good skin. Then Victoria, Paul was acting weird. He says that there there was a drop off after the Alea drama mm -hmm. because then he kind of didn't trust her anymore because it emotions. did come across as quite shady. Then she got super pissed and she was handling it so immaturely, wasn't she? After he told her that he said that he basically he didn't he, see them going anywhere. Well, she was kind of hinting at like, well, how do you feel? I, I want to like see if you felt yeah. a lull in our relationship too and he's like i did actually and i don't think we're going anywhere yeah then she just turned she into just like, like snapped didn't he got she? to see her true colors and that's quick. why i'm glad that she did act that way because this was clearly the person that she's been hiding all along because if you can so easily snap and become so unkind and so cold mm. i get that her feelings were hurt because he's not picking her but there is a classy way to handle it and i feel like she was really unkind to him and very immature yeah, the way she it, handled it it was not, not it, good. it wasn't and i feel like she just did herself as a disservice doing that because up until that point I feel like she could have she could have gained people's respect after the whole Alea thing like she had kind of like mm -hmm. okay she would kind of gotten back but then after she acted that way I feel like that's gonna hurt her in the long run as far as like the women tell all and just yep. like watching it back I would be embarrassed for myself if I acted that way it was not good it really wasn't and I just put that she's acting her she's acting so rude he said well can I like at least walk you out and she said you don't need to walk me out like just be just be classy can, can about it get me a car get me a taxi yeah, the, she was so the, dramatic she was wasn't so... she i was really upset by that i feel like she just didn't handle that well i thought it was great get rid of her i feel Bye. like she should have she i i thought she would have handled that better well she didn't. Yeah. And, and so, clearly, but you know what? that's why everything was the way it was. Yeah. And I said true colors show eventually. Yeah. So that's what happens. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. So then he wrote a script for Madison on their little one on one time. And in the script, he said, My heart is with you. And I put in my notes that that's him trying to sneakily say, I love you, without him actually saying, I love you, but him letting her know, mm -hmm. girl, you are it. I think that you, you, we've noticed that with Madison, you never see her in the drama. You never really see her on the camera much, but yeah. we all know her name. We all know about her. We see them snuggling. They've yeah. got a crazy connection. The connection is like the best. Before the, the, the little script thing, they were standing there just snuggling and always noses. Nose to nose. And they're just and when you watch I like to watch her reaction to everything. She'll be sitting on the couch and they'll be like, you know, drama going on. She just kind of sits there like, yeah. like whatever. She's just so she, confident she's, in there. She's not even bothered. And and but yet she's always there. She doesn't get sent home. Yeah. She gets roses. Yeah. She's she's I he, think she, she's the winner. She he he passed her a note, I think. And he was made like, that script for her to tell her, I love you, but I can't actually mm -hmm. say it, but I want you to know that you are my one. Yeah, I'm picking you just She's gonna win. Just let me kiss these other girls, yeah. let me go on dates, yeah. you don't worry about a thing. So I thought that was really sweet of him. Yeah, I like that. I do too. Um, okay, so then Tammy and McKenna go at it, 
and then I put Tammy is a bully at this point she was she was just going for anyone that she thought she could and mm -hmm. first it was Kelsey then she moves on to McKenna and she's just like being like nobody that's not gonna it, it's she doesn't need to go and tell Peter these things no it's like you're you're butting your that's, way that's into, not attractive to no man. it's not it's like you're being a tattletale and like what for? For nothing. It's not even affecting you. You're just going out of your way to just be a jerk, and I was just very unimpressed with her. Well, and what, like, what was she even complaining about McKenna for? She was saying that McKenna was not ready or something. Or... Well, who is she think she is? Is she the, That's the thing. Is she Peter's judge of, of, yeah. of, of, of Why don't you worry gets... about yourself? That's not her place. Yeah. Oh, you can't. Sorry, Peter. Uh, you can't have Kelsey because I said. I and don't you can't think have she's McKenna ready. because I said. But I'm great. Uh, you need to go. Yeah, I was done with her. Mm -mm. Then I put that the grapes were huge on that table. Did you see those grapes? Peter's was... grapes? <laughs> the grapes on the table, they were massive. They looked so hard I've and seen, juicy. I've seen bigger. But you have. So anyway, um, your dad jokes are the lamest. Uh -oh. McKenna stuck up for herself. I didn't see the grapes. They were huge. Were they real? Oh, maybe they weren't. Maybe that's why they never eat them. Because <gasps> my grandma had a bowl of fake fruit. I remember. I don't and like know why the big fake groups. Fake grapes. I don't know. Maybe it's a trick, people. But anyway, those grapes look so juicy and big, and like I never see grapes this, like that anymore. The, 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 all the food just looks so. Oh, it's so mm. yummy, and I just wish they would eat it. It's just so rude. Um, okay, so then M McKenna sticks up for herself to Tammy, and I was like, you go, girl. Like, I'm done with Tammy, and as much as I don't really care for McKenna, I was so glad that she stuck up for herself because nobody needs to put up with that baloney. And I hope that if anyone else is being bullied by that, that they stick up for themselves. Because you know what? I used to be terrible about that, and I never used to stick up for myself, and nowadays I do, and I feel like there's nothing wrong in sticking up for yourself. And so I was really glad that she did that. Then, Madison gets the rose on the group date, which I was very happy about. Then he goes on to his date with Victoria. I put that they have good chemistry. They did the horse date where they were getting on the horse, right? Oh no, they were going underneath the horse. Underneath the yeah. horse. Um, that guy just passes off his hat. Hold this. Uh, uh, that I, made like, me laugh so I hard. love that guy. Yeah, that was great. He's like, he's like, I don't care who he, you are. Dink. He's like, uh, I don't know. I just really like. Yeah, that, that was I, funny. I think he would be really great to know. Yeah, he was a sweet old he, man. I, I think he could really like inspire you. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so then Victoria, when they're sitting on a little truck thing of a bobber, Victoria says that she thinks about going home, which is a huge shock to Peter. I feel like that really hurt his little heart. I, I don't know if she, I don't know if she's, just, I think she's really on the fence about this whole thing. I think it's just a, a not a it's not her ideal process and I think that she just can't handle the stress. I don't yeah. think it's necessarily about Peter mm -mm. as much as it's just about her own insecurities and her own situation. She feels like oh, it's almost like she feels maybe she feels like she's being forced into it a little faster than she, than she wants, wants to be. To yeah, be that's something. true. Cuz she honestly likes him and he likes her. I think at this point though, he but, likes her more than she likes him. Yeah. Or maybe she's trying to tell herself that she doesn't like him as much as she does because she's afraid of getting hurt. I don't know. That's possible it's very, too. It's very, she, she's, she's very, she's like arguing with her heart. I think so. A lot. Yeah. I put that she's self-sabotaging, which I, mm -hmm. I really do think that that's, there's a lot of people that self-sabotage and it's like they're so afraid of getting hurt that they're not willing, that they end up ruining it and getting hurt because they're so afraid of getting hurt. Yeah. I put that she's quite difficult to talk to for him. Like I could imagine getting quite frustrated if you're in a relationship with someone like her and like, you know, just as life goes on and you have things that you need to discuss, she just shuts down and you can't communicate with her at all. That is true. And that's really hard. When you can't communicate with people. That, yeah, that You're would, so that lucky that I just yell at you when I'm mad. I know, I know, and I just do what you tell me. It's a piece of cake. It is really hard though when you don't know where people stand and you don't know like if they're mad at you or like for us, I used to be this way, didn't I? When we were younger, mm -hmm. I would just kind of hold things in and I wouldn't say, but as I've gotten older now, like I immediately tell him if something's irritating me because I don't want it to build up to where I eventually just like, Wah! 
explode. So now like as soon as he does something that annoys me, I'm like, ah, you're annoying me. And then he just, he yep. knows versus me being like for days. And then when something annoys me about her, I just keep it in because I wouldn't dare start a fight. That's not true. You're a liar. <laughs> you are a liar. Happy wife, happy life. Listen to me. <laughs> You're full of crap and you don't ever do that. You uh, tell me all the time when something's uh, wrong. It's okay, I know I do. You're freaking I just full wanted of crap. To, I just wanted to get You're some... You're such full of crap. I just wanted to get some support about, oh, poor Jay. No one cares, okay? I know. No one feels bad for you. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> You're full of baloney. He's like the biggest no, liar, okay? so great. <sighs> um, anyway. Anyway. Okay, so then I put that she's not nice enough for him. <laughs> no. He's too nice for her. I, yeah, I agree. I just think he's too nice for her. I think that he is going to get his heart broken by her. He's just a little darling. He is. You know? He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> he's such a sweet little He guy. really is. Yeah, I mean, when someone's like, I don't really like you. Now I do. He's like, okay, have a rose. He's just such a, such a sweet he's guy. He's such an idiot. He really is. <laughs> so then um, I said that you shouldn't have to try this hard. In this stage, at this early point in their relationship, there shouldn't be this having to work that hard for things to, to mesh. No. I they, just don't think you should work that hard. I mean, conversations should roll off pretty good. They, they, they should yeah. be. Yeah. And the girls, realistically, like they should be all over each other. I know. He should be all over her. It's just person. like, I mean, I just think back to like when Jay and I first started dating. Like, we honestly did not argue until we had Lily. Yeah. That was when we started arguing. Because our, our priorities weren't on each other. They yeah, were on her. Yeah, and like we were just, you and know, new, newly to two kids' parents. Yeah. And it was just the challenges of, you know, juggling so many different things and not being able to completely focus. But even after we had Phoenix, we really didn't argue. It was when we just got, I think we were just so tired mm -hmm. after having Lily. And it just got to it's us. It's just tough. But like... It, but it, we never had to work that hard at all. No. Like it was so easy. No, we, we never did have to do anything like that. Yeah, except for one time I did get mad at him. Because you did something in the shower and it was like cold water or something. Do you remember yeah, that? it's hard to say. I got really mad at him. That wasn't an argument though. I just yelled at him. And then one time when I had a fever, he put me in a cold shower when I was... I was... I had a... What's that called? Mastitis? He didn't know how to get rid of my fever. So he put me in a cold shower and I was freezing and it was horrible. And I got mad at him then. <laughs> but I don't think that's what you're supposed to do with a fever. <laughs> but he's like, this is what my grandma did to me. So I'm just going to stick you in a shower. And it was horrible. Yeah, you know. Anyway. Well, so. Could have been worse. Then, but yeah, we really didn't. That's argue. not an argument though. That's no, just, I just got mad at you. That's just something. Yeah. That's silly. But we really, we we never had to work that hard at all. Like it was always super duper easy. It still is really for the most part. I think so. I mean, really, it's just like, you know, being parents. I think what we argue about the most is pa parent things Par when we don't see eye to pa eye. Parent parenting. It's it, and yeah. they're not even arguments. They're just. This is the situation. Yeah. How do we want to we, handle like, it? I'll be like, oh, we should do this. And then he'll be like, well, well we, we should, should do, do this. And, and we, we have to like come compromise. to us. Yeah. And then it's, it's solved and then sealed yeah. and signed. And then that's not even an argument though. The only time we really argue is like, I don't really even know. It's usually about the kids. Yeah. It usually is. It's because we don't see eye to eye on how to deal with a situation. Yeah. It's really all, all we argue about. Basically, you know, and, like, it's, and it's not even those aren't even really arguments though. They're just I mean, we haven't argued for a while. It's, par it's parenting. We're doing really good. High five. It's probably because of our love island. Oh, yeah, probably. It gets us in a good mood every day. Um, okay, so now she's difficult to talk to. She's not nice enough for him. You shouldn't have to try that hard. Okay, so he so then he gives Victoria a rose anyway. I mean, why not? After she walks off from him and shuts herself in the bathroom. And he's going to give Chris a rose here soon. This freaking guy. Okay, so then it's Tammy versus McKenna. Of course, they do a little two-for-one special because they always do because that's just how Bachelor does it. So predictable. McKenna does her little speech of why she thinks Tammy sucks and how she's a strong woman and blah, blah, blah. Which, again, I'm glad she stuck up for herself because um, Tammy was being a bully. So then Tammy is the distraction, but she's telling everyone else that they're the distraction when she's the one creating all the drama. Yeah. 
Why is she doing that? Because she's oblivious to what she's actually she, doing. She, I think Tammy just got caught up in her own. She did. She got caught up, and then she didn't realize what she was drama, doing. I think. Yeah, I just put that she was mean. I don't, I don't think she even. I, I just think she. Just, I honestly think she just got caught up in her own mess. Yeah. Um, then she brings up that McKenna's only there for like hashtags, which you never know that could be real. I mean, I don't be. care for McKenna anyway, but, but I think she is fake. But there's that per perception though. Like, what if, what if someone says, at a at a at a wedding, and they're like, oh, I'm here for, oh, I I, I love the I love free drinks at a wedding. You mean you don't love the family? Totally. Oh, get a life. Yeah. Or yeah. oh, I come to the buffet for the great dollar cost average of the food I can eat. Yeah. You're not here for the, it, like, people can perceive yes. things so wickedly. You're right. Like, there's a very good chance that that she could have just, she could just have it out for McKenna. Yeah, I feel like she could have very easily said like something yeah. joking, like, oh yeah. Because isn't McKenna hashtag an, the like McKenna an influencer? Show. Yeah, she is. She could have just said yeah, something. Yeah, she could have been joking, and then people are so sensy nowadays so sensitive. that you can't say anything without people saying like, yeah. oh, they have bad intentions. So I don't. I, I just, just look. Being a bully. I look at both sides. Yeah, it's, it's my habit. And but I feel like Tammy was being a bully. Whether I, I mean we don't care so. for McKenna either, but I do feel like Tammy had it out for numerous people. I mean I think she cries too much. Fake cries too much. She I mean, does. I'm a terrible person. Yeah. Maybe she's really crying. She just has a tear disorder. Oh, she could. She should tell people that though. I think so. That way we would know not to make fun of her lack of tears. Right. You know. But anyway. You never know. He questions. <laughs> He questions McKenna about the hashtags, and then she, this is what made me laugh when McKenna says, "Our love is worth it." And I'm like, "Honey, I don't think you guys are actually in love. You can't say that until you actually know that you guys <laughs> both love each other. You can't say that. That's like me saying me and Tommy's love is worth it on my show." Totally. I mean, what is she talking about? Don't know. That was so silly. That was like the silliest. And ironic too. Si uh, yeah, very ironic <laughs> considering what happens next. <laughs> so then McKenna says to Tammy, you are nothing. <laughs> Tammy says, I'm everything. I'm everything. <laughs> that made me laugh so hard. I was like, man, I really want to use that. That's my new line. I'm everything. I'm everything. Um, Tammy goes home. So McKenna wins. You see her smile. She's just like, Smitten. Cheshire cat, so happy. Oh, loving she it. She thinks that she's gonna marry Peter. Oh yeah, Peter um, loves me because she sent you home. You totally. horrible person. I'm Tammy, amazing. Yeah, and then Tammy says he just wants a trophy wife, and I'm like, that's kind of dissing Peter, really. Yep. You know, like she's just a jerk. She's just a jerk. So then Sydney and McKenna end up going home at the rose ceremony anyway. And I'm thinking, why didn't he just send McKenna and Tammy home? And just not have, because she got all excited, and then he's just like, just kidding, you don't get a rose. Brutal. That was brutal. And I was shocked that Sydney went home. Because even though I didn't think that she was as into it, I didn't see that coming. I didn't. I thought he actually really did like her. Mm -hmm. And he said she was the best kisser. Maybe he he said the best kisser thing, and then he's like, I, sh I should send her home. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that. I regret that. She's going to tell everyone in the house, and it's going to create drama. Maybe that's what happened. Okay, so then um, I th I thought a lot of people went home this week. Yeah. Four people. Yeah, they that's did. Because Victoria, Paul, McKenna, mm -hmm. Tammy, and Sydney all went home. Yep. That was a lot. That was brutal. Wait, and Shein. And Shein. Yep. And oh no no no, because that was this week. So this week alone, four people. That's a lot. Um, so then I put. The fake crying again with McKenna, and then right at the very end, we see one tiny little tear, and I'm like, that is what I've been waiting for yeah. this whole season. Just crying. It's just one tear. Like, at least let us know that you actually have tears in there, because the fakeness is irritating. Um, okay, so then <laughs> she says, it's okay because I'm madly in love with who I am. That was awkward. I mean, it's, I'm all for self-love and like being your biggest fan, but saying madly in love with yourself is very weird. It's a bit strange. It's a bit strange. Like saying you're in love with yourself, like I, I would say like, oh, I love myself or like, you know, but saying I'm madly in love with myself, I was like. I mean. I just don't think she knows what to say. Some people are, are just madly in love with themselves. Uh, maybe they are. Maybe I need to be madly in love with myself. Best not. 
okay. <laughs> um, and then at the end, where he's just eating all the meat, and then the fact that Victoria says, I'm a vegetarian, I'm like, oh, this was probably the worst date for her. And he's, he's just, just like, like ah. Because I know now that we've been vegetarian for, how long has it been now? I don't know. Three months? Something like that. More than three months? I don't know. Um, the sight of meat actually, it kind of grosses me out now. I mean, I've never really been a huge fan of meat anyway, but especially now that we don't eat it, mm -hmm. I do feel like it's like, yuck. Like when I see people eating it, I'm like, how can you eat that? So I can imagine that that was quite... It was probably pretty hard for her. <laughs> quite difficult, especially just seeing the animal as a shape. Plus she, what if that was their meal? And she's probably like, man, I'm hungry. And here he's just- Yeah, he's just mowing down. He, and he but was just- But she did have like a little wrap or something. It was funny though, cause he's just like eating and she's just standing behind her. He's just like- and He's just loving life. And she's not even like a part of- Yeah, like it wasn't normally, even, he was like on a date with the meat. Normally whenever it's a date, they're like, you know, having yeah, ice cream. Oh, that's let's so do true. this together. But instead even... he's just like- He's like, hey back there, how's hey. your wrap? Get her something too. I'll be over here. Yeah. Eating this pig. Honestly, I just feel like he's quite immature. Oh, I think I so. I just feel like he seems very immature and I don't think that he's actually ready to get married. Yeah, I I, I feel that way too. I feel yeah. like he's he's immature and he not immature in a sense of like childish. No, but I just think but he seems young. emotionally immature. Yeah. You know? I just feel like he doesn't not quite necessarily know what to say or what to do or how to handle situations. And there's nothing wrong with that. I no. just don't think that he is mentally old enough. Like I would almost, this is kind of like a, a, a dig a little bit, but you would, I could almost believe that he just moved out of his parents' house. I think he probably still lives there. And they're like, oh, do you want to go get married? And he's like, sure, I'll be on a show. And yeah, like he's, he's, it does. It seems like he, he seems still like lives at home. He still lives at home and yeah. he hasn't really had any, any life problems, yes. any issues. He's never yes. had to like, I agree. You know, I don't say oh, be homeless, but like be yeah. be homeless or worry about rent or or like struggle. And it's like it he seems has like his life has been his very life easy. is just very awesome. Yeah, and I think that you might know? be just like we have both had to grow up quite young and we've had di quite difficult lives um, this far. I mean, luckily we're fine now, but we we have struggled and. I think when you are someone like us who has had like real crap happen, you grow up. You do. You be, you feel old. You feel like a lot yeah. older than you are. Maybe that's what we're seeing. And with so Peter. yeah, I mean, he does have such a great family. How could you have problems? Well, I think with I think it's fantastic. No, I mean, I would much rather be Peter than me. But on with that being said, I would worry that he would jump into something, yeah, without acknowledging what he's jumping into because, like yes. you said earlier marriage can get downplayed a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you just meet someone and, and you love you them married. forever. It's yeah. like, eh, there's a little bit more, more to, to it to than it. that. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's like so much more to marriage than just finding someone super attractive and being in love and everything's roses. Like it's like figuring out your whole life and children and raising your kids and money struggles yeah. and Food family struggles. And, and, and There's so much to a marriage and I feel like the show just makes it seem like it's just... Who, 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 who hangs up the clothes and who folds it? And who cleans a toilet? Who cleans a toilet and who... This is what they should be doing. Who like, they should be like, yeah, like real that life, kind of stuff. Yeah, who cuts, stuff. Who, you have to cut the grass while someone, it's like, it's just... It's hard life. It's, why even bother? <laughs> Is like I just feel like a lot of the time in reality TV they play it off like you just get married and you get a pretty wedding dress and it's just yeah, so fabulous you're and you're like and everything you're is... with that person for years and years and there are sometimes months where you're irritated with each other and what we've gone through our heart we've gone through hard times in our marriage where you know it's not just like every day is fabulous like you have to work through those hard times and it's just irritating when they they make it seem like they just it's make nothing. it seem like everything is is a, is a disney movie yeah because it's not no 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 they really should have them like poo in front of each other you know what they should do they should have it you know where like in t when you're a teenager you have to have a baby you have to yeah. have the fake baby they should like put them 
a weekend together with this baby mm -hmm. that cries all night long. Yep. That's what they should do. Have them, have them like one cooks and one does the dishes yeah. and then like they clean up after each other. Cleaning yeah. up after someone is disgusting too. Totes. Really. After a while it gets gross. You're like, come on, man. Or like hair and tampons and like, I mean, people they, just, people are men, gross. Men are gross. Women are gross. Yeah. There's so much. We should have our own bachelor show. Be like, you want to get married? Oh my God. That would be amazing. <laughs> I'll show you. We could show like the real, actual <laughs> real life marriage like uh, what you actually have to go success through. rate would be about zero <laughs> nobody would make it <laughs> no but like it's just so annoying when they just like it's all like the la la land it's like why don't you put them in in some real situations and like actually get them through that unrealistic bachelor yeah. see that's why i like love island yeah. because love island they live together they have to see each oh yeah love, love island is 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 that's talk about another show, but like Love Island, they sleep. They together. sleep together. They're they're twenty four seven yes. together. They have to wake up, yes. brush their teeth together. They share a bathroom. They see each other when you wake up and they, look like poop. Oh yeah, they take their makeup off. They, they have to poop in the same place. They get angry and they kick each other out of the beds. Yeah, yeah. they use the same toilet. It's so real. Um, they they go outside. They use yeah. the same kitchen area. Oh, oh it's man, for it's so juicy. Days. Oh, it's so so juicy. this is. Basically, you need to start lo <laughs> watching Love Island. Because it's hard thing now. We're on season five. It is amazing. And there's 50 episodes. Yeah. If you like to binge season. Love Island. It's unbelievable. We're on... Why did we start season five? Because my brother said, or no, my sister said that was amazing. And I would love Tommy. Oh, okay. So we're on season five of Love Island. And yeah. we're not even halfway through it's it. It's amazing. Been, it, it's, be careful. It's Best so addictive. Show. It is. I'm obviously from England, so I can understand, and mm -hmm. Jay has been to England enough and been around me and enough I, to where I he understands. It. But it is quite difficult to understand some of them if you You might are need not, subtitles. Yeah, if you're not used to English accents, because there's a Scottish guy, the accents are, some of them are quite strong, and so you might be like, what the heck are they saying? And also there there's different words that Americans don't use, mm -hmm. um, so... There, there's a little bit of a language barrier, I feel like. But there is. You'll get used to it. For me, like growing up here, like there's the you might need subtitles just to pick up exactly what they are saying, yeah. and then they there's terms that they'll use. Like of course, you know, in America it's bathroom, there it's toilet. Yeah. But there'll be there'll be things like that. Like you might bed. actually have to look up and yeah. go, what, what the heck are they talking are about? They talking about? Yeah. Or what is it that they're meaning by saying? Yeah. Yeah. that but you get the, but it's so good you guys part, are gonna love that it. that doesn't even interfere with the show because if you people are people yeah. at the end of the day totally <laughs> but you know we that. find ourselves like referencing that show all the time now <laughs> and like we found when we want when we were going to watch the bachelor that we were like i wanted to let, watch love island oh, i know so bored of the bachelor right and we now. were like obsessed with the bachelor before love island oh obsessed oh how the tables it. have turned like the Bachelor to us was like a 10 of like yes. drama and now it's like four, maybe Yeah. Love Island's our 10 now. Love Island is the oh, best show so ever. Good. Like I want to watch it right now. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I just want to like not work anymore and just like <laughs> sit on love. <laughs> this, what was the downfall of Sam and Jay? Well, they sat on the couch and watched Love Island all day and didn't all work. Day. And do the grocery shop and didn't take care of their children. Like, it's such a good show. It sucks you in we stay, so much. We're like, I'm like so happy it's Friday yeah. because now we, we don't have to get up Last, for early tomorrow yeah. so we can stay up. Late. Last week, we stayed up on Friday night until, until four in the morning. Four, just one after another. And then the kids woke up at six. Because there's was 50 a episodes, day. so you can just like. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. And they've got good music. The, oh, it's so The cliffhangers. Good. So good. They bring in new people and the oh, drama. Oh, it's so and just... juicy. It's so good. You guys are going to love it. Yeah, that's this our... Is our... This is our do, intro do, dance. Do, do. And then it ends and we go... So, anyway, sorry. <laughs> We're just showing how much losers we are. <laughs> We're like the biggest <laughs> losers on YouTube. Talking about marriage, that's what marriage is. That is what marriage is. When you can do a stupid little dance on your couch with no makeup on, looking like total crap while he's sitting over there. <laughs> farting and we're doing our little ding 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 yeah so basically if you want to know how to be a loser just do what we do do what we do but you know what we're happy losers happy losers and we love each other so it's what it is isn't it it's what isn't it bro <laughs> that's what we say all the time that's what they say that's the from show. love island <laughs> anyway <laughs> thank you so much for watching we hope you guys enjoyed let us know your thoughts down below on the bachelor episode five part one and part two there's a lot this week 
so much, but not quite as exciting. Please as subscribe. Yeah. Please, what is it? Clicking the bell. Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Notify. Comment. All that mess. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me. Oh Follow yeah, we started doing TikTok. I'm gonna start doing some TikToks. The kids were obsessed. I started kids. doing it yesterday and they had so much fun. They were like, okay, let's do this. Now let's do this. I'm like, you guys, we have to eat dinner. We have to go to bed. We have to like do homework and things. But yeah, we had fun. So there it is. It's Jay Sherman and Nats. And it's yeah. at Jay Sherman and at Sam Sherman. It's the same as... We're, we're the same everywhere. Because luckily our name is... Boring. So unique. Cool. It's not boring. It's unique, babe. It's awesome. Spelled a bit silly, but whatever. It is what it is. That's your fault. It's what is isn't it, bruv? Okay, we're going to go. Love you. Bye. Bye.